Welcome back, Triple B Squad! Do I have another one big happy family collaboration just for you? Yes, guys, we have another collaboration. The One Big Happy Family goes back to school. And, of course, me being a full channel, it's going to be themed around the lunch. Lunchtime, back to school. But before we get into that, I'm going to need y'all to do something for me. What's that? I'm going to need y'all to give this video a thumbs up. I'm going to need you to comment below, baby. And don't forget to share it out. Share it out. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let's pray. God is good. God is great. Bless everyone watching this video. And bless the food that I am about to eat. Amen. All right, guys. So, yeah, I imagine I'm in a cafeteria or I'm at the lunch table. Sometimes we had lunch in the classroom, though, when we put our desk together during lunchtime. So, so many memories. But wherever your lunch room is or where you ate your lunch at, picture that's where I'm at right now, guys. Um, so, let's get into this. But I'm lonely at my table. I wonder if there's a young lady or somebody out there that might be able to join me for lunch. Is there any ladies out there? Can I come sit with you? You sure can come sit with me, pretty lady. Pretty young lady. Hi. Ain't she so cute, y'all? Hi, guys. Hey, hey, hey. It's lunchtime at the One Big Happy Family Lunchroom. What you got there, miss? Uh, I bought my lunch, if I can eat with you. Who's got you my can. little lunch bag? Uh -huh. My mom was busy running off to work today, so all I have is a sandwich and a drink and a orange. orange. But this is a croissant sandwich with cheese and ham and turkey and salami. Oh, it looks nice. Mm -hmm. All right, well, luckily I packed a big lunch, so let me get my lunch. My mommy made me make my lunch myself today, and I got to make it the way I want to make my lunch. You made your lunch yourself. Yeah, like, see, I got my lunch bag. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> mommy let me make my lunch the way I like to make my lunch, and I want to have the best and the biggest lunch ever. Isn't that just... <laughs> Wasn't that how big your lunch bag was? You can't see my face over it so big. <laughs> well, I needed a big bag for my lunch. Let's see what I have in here. What all do you have in there? Christmas turkey and ham? <laughs> well, I got some oranges too. See, I got oranges. I can even give you two. Oh, thank you. Then we both can have two oranges. And then I got... A nutty buddy. Ooh. And you guys love a nutty buddy. Would you like a nutty buddy? I have an extra one. There you go. Now I got a nutty buddy. And I got mm. Ooh. Then up I got I got Capri Sun too, so that our mommies sense. must stop at the same store. Because I, I got them. Cool. And then I got an apple pie. Oh, wow, your mom lets you get all this sweet stuff. She doesn't know I took all this stuff. So I'll probably get in trouble if mommy the teacher tells on me. And then, <laughs> ooh, I got some, ooh, look, I got some gushers for dessert. Here's oh. some dessert. And I got some more dessert. <laughs> what is the apple pie and the I don't know. I didn't know what I was going to have a taste for. And then I needed some, um, I needed some chips. Oh, my God. So I got me some chips because... I didn't feel like putting it in a little plastic bag because I always want more chips and then I might need to trade some off with somebody else. So I got some chips. Wow. And then, oh, I just got a whole bunch of extra stuff. And then I got to have my sandwich too, guys. Ah. Ah. Wow. Oh my God. I got my sandwich. You made that sandwich all by yourself. Yep, mommy didn't, she wasn't <laughs> in there. So she said, make your lunch how you want to make it. So I made me a big old sandwich like I saw on the Cosby show. Because Bill Cosby, or Mr. Hustable, he always made big sandwiches. So I wanted a sandwich just like Mr. Huxtable. Yep. 
Wow. Do we have a room for the on the table for that big sandwich? No, we might need to pull in some reinforcements. Oh, you bring your own table? Yeah. What's your name? Big Belly Bob. They call me Big Bob. I see why they call you Big Bob. So I got my lunch, you got your lunch. And then I got just well, oranges. Right well, I guess I can scoot it over a little bit for you. Do, do, do. Now you got room for two. Thank you. All right, guys. Now we got our lunch out. How is your day going? And what did your mommy, or what did you make for your lunch? Okay. One thing mommy didn't let me play with was the knives. Lana, <laughs> <laughs> diva. <laughs> we're we're filming a video, D. You gotta stay in character. I can't take my dog to school. All right. Would you like some of my chips? Because I don't see you having chips either. I have any chips. So I'm gonna put up some chips up here to share. And we can share these chips. Mm. These are one of my favorites next to Doritos. Yummy. Mm -hmm. My mommy did make me a sandwich and she put her own garlic herb mayonnaise on mm -hmm. it. And I was, looks like I did pack me a knife so now I can cut me off some of my sandwich. You have enough to share with the whole class. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm glad I said that to you. Somebody told me in life, you're going to do it. Do it big, baby. Oh, that piece wasn't supposed to come with me. Let me stuff that back in there. There it is, guys. That is Big Bob's dream lunch for school. Oh, yep. So let me take my first bite of my lunch. Those are good though. Thank you. I don't know if you want to bite mine after eating all yours. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, on this sandwich, Big Brother Bomb has. First off, this is a Italian loaf that is everything bagel mm -hmm. on the top of there. And then he's got some um, ham, some Genoa salami, mm -hmm. some oven roasted turkey breast, some Boston lettuce, mm -hmm. some Colby Jack cheese, tomatoes, mm -hmm. mayonnaise, and mustard, I believe. Is that mm -hmm. right? And you got the, did you say the tenor American? Yeah, Colby cheese, Colby mm -hmm. Jack. Oh, two cheese. Oh, you use some of my cheese. Mm -mm. Uh-huh. That was your, that, right. that's your Kobe, yeah. Yeah. You and they got American singles, American right? American cheese. I I'm got both. Use my cheese. Why I got both. using my cheese, though? I already said, don't, uh, you don't mess with my cheese. I look like, mmm. Mmm, my pizza. This is good, though, guys. This is a nice, buttery croissant. This is always, like, one of my favorite meals when I would get like an upscale kind of lunch and my parents would go to like Sam's Club or something and get some croissant, you know, a big thing of croissants. Mm -hmm. And my mom would be like, I made you a sandwich on a croissant today. I'd be like, oh. <laughs> so much better than regular bread. Just like that, everything bagel is so much better than every uh, regular bread, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Good job. Yeah, it's pretty good. The bread, the bread is pretty good. Um, it's a lot of bread, but it's yeah, I'm good. Sure. You want to hollow it out, maybe? I did some. I'm drinking Capri Sun. But when I was in school, of course, I always liked it. I was I didn't get to go to school with big like this. Every now and then we had a hoagie or something, but no, it's big. But I was always good for the double, triple. Decker sandwiches and me and my friends used to always sit there and try to see who could have the you know the coolest sandwich you know when we did make our sandwiches because of course I was able to make my sandwiches sometimes my mother made them but usually we made them the night before. Well, you had your own kitchenette and stuff in uh -huh. sixth grade, right? Yeah. If y'all don't know, Bob had his own apartment when he was in the sixth grade. 
I was not in sixth grade. <laughs> but while most of my classmates, I was their senior year. You yeah, I have, my own, I have my own apartment. So you have been doing senior year stuff since the fifth grade. <laughs> <laughs> Those were the best ditch days ever. <laughs> you know, I only skipped school probably like, I could probably count on one hand. How many times I skipped Well, I didn't school. skip school. I tested out early. So, I was out before my normal class. Garden went. And I told you my school was hard to skip because we pretty much just had like one main door. <laughs> we had one main door and then the side door that went to the parking lot and then the other door went to like... Yeah, yeah but there was no job was missing though for sure though. Yeah. Well, my teacher already knew he was absent but it wasn't that big of a deal like... Well yeah. And we only had like 13 kids maybe in a, each period of class or something you know. Mm -hmm. So it'd definitely be like where's Shannon? I just seen her in the hallway. And he'd be like, I don't know. He'd be out there. He'd be like, where you at? Where you at? <laughs> so it was hard to skip. I do remember one time, though, one of my good friends, my best friend at the time, Jennifer, she called and pretended to be my mom maybe like once or twice <laughs> so we could skip. <laughs> And we just had like a teenage. Fuel. Where did y'all skip? Who's driving? We had a teenage fueled fun day. She went. She was dating older guys at the time, and she had one of her older boyfriends come pick us up. And why did your parents think you went to school though? Cause I went to school. Like someone else drove me to school at that time. Mm. I wasn't driving yet, so I have a carpool. And you know, our parents would leave usually before the carpool got there sometimes. Oh. So I'd be like, "Yep." No, I just tell so and so the night before because he used to be my friends. I'd be like, I'm not gonna be, you know, I'm not going to school tomorrow, so don't tell you your parents and help pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so. oh, yeah, yeah, a lot of kids around. Well, yeah, I don't say I wasn't too. It was hard for me to ditch, so I thought I didn't really. I was like, forget it. In high school for me, I was. I caught the bus to school or you walked, you know. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, it's very rare that my parents to took me to school. Yeah, if you don't make it to school, then you just don't make it to school. Mm -hmm. Of course, some of my friends had cars. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm, good. You just gotta wait for the school to call mm -hmm. and say, I mean, that's high school though, but I mean, elementary and all yeah, that. Yeah, elementary, yeah, no. Never missed a day of school. I mean, if I had to, it was because we had a doctor's appointment yeah. or something. Yeah, I always wanted to go to school at elementary school, even if there was some kind of little test or project that was due or something, you know. Mm -hmm. But when I got to high school, you know, if I didn't have something done or just didn't feel like going. I would play a sick card as much as I could. Mm -hmm. Did you ever do like the thermometer, like run the thermometer under the water a little bit to get? Yeah, it? yeah. But then it would get too high. It'd be like one hundred five. Yeah. <laughs> it'd be like, nah, yeah. Nowadays, kids. Like, you about to die. I don't know how they do it now. Everything digital and stuff. You can't fake it. They can just shoot at your forehead. Yeah, and then so I'm like. I'm probably wristbands or something and come in there and be like, you locked in like a prison, like you in here for mm -hmm. good. No, kids with all that technology, iPhone watches and stuff, that's telling your parents, your vitals, you know? Yeah. You, know, you ain't getting away with nothing. That's another thing. I feel like I would have been so much smarter. Like, I was smart back then. You know, I was on mm -hmm. Honor Society right. and stuff. No, I made the Honor Society and the Honor Room and stuff, but I feel like I would have been freaking valedictorian if I would have had the technology that these kids have just to look up an answer and be like here's my test answer you know versus having to try to actually remember that stuff yeah that's why I was blessed when I was growing yeah. up that we had the encyclopedias the, the botanicas and stuff like that so we was able to yeah, I still had those my research. parents used to buy them in the grocery stores and Ooh. buy me each book like my dad would be like I bought you book number 22 as you were missing today or I couldn't find number 23 mm -hmm. and I'm like dang it that's the one I need that's S through S-O or you know whatever oh. what was it Funkin' Wagner's do they even uh, do that anymore do they even come around with the uh, do they even come around with the uh, book salesman does that even exist anymore I don't know yeah but that's that shows you how much has changed though because honestly I can't remember 
there being a display in the grocery store for encyclopedias, the where you can buy encyclopedias. Yeah, I mean that doesn't exist anymore. No, it does not exist. You cannot go to a grocery store and find knowledgeable or tools for learning like that. I say you can go to a, a paperback or you know section where you can find some novels and books and paperback fiction and nonfiction books and stuff. But you're not just gonna see an end cap where it's all encyclopedias. Now I used to actually like that. Like I would go to the stores and actually look to see if they did have ones that I didn't have. Because I feel like I was collect, even though I didn't read them. I mean, I looked at them, but and that's what we had to use as dictionary stuff Man. back then, kind of was encyclopedias. I miss. I wish I had a fruit roll up right now. Mmm. That was him. A fruit roll up. Uh, if we had one too, we could do that fruit roll up challenge. Yeah, next time. Every time we go to the store, we get some. I'd always be upset too when I would only bring one juice box. And I'd be like, I'm still thirsty. Are you still thirsty? That's why you sit next to Big Belly Bob at lunch. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Too bad I moved my lunch bag over there. Oh, I'll be right back. <laughs> Let me reach down into my lunch box here. Here you go. Oh, wow, and they're nice and cold. Yeah. I wrap mine up in aluminum foil. Mm. That was the uh, the ghetto ice box back in the day. Mm hmm. The ice box, and then they make your ghetto popsicles with the ice tray and the Kool Aid. Stick the toothpick, the saran wrap over the top. Mm -hmm. And so you get a toothpick in there. You be sucking on a little ice pops all day. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. Thank you guys for joining us for this collab with the OBHF. Mm -hmm. I'm really enjoying it. Taking it back to school. Yeah. Been Hopefully, all of you guys, as little kiddos, are transitioning into school. Some that might be doing it for the first time. Some that are just transitioning to another section of school life, you know. Mm hmm It's just different that day with school because all the homeschooling going on, you know. Like, I'm so glad that that didn't happen during our time because the interaction you have with the kids, you know. Well, yeah, it would have had to shut the school other. down that happened during our time. Mm-hmm. That would have been like, our school is closed. Yeah, well. Like, we wouldn't have been able to learn. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to have tablets and Wi-Fi. Not everybody even had computers back then, you know. We actually used to, we was blessed to have computers, you know, in the house to do stuff. But some people had to come over our house to use a computer, you know. Mm -hmm. Or you had to go over to somebody else's house that had a little bit better computer. Yeah, <laughs> that had more floppy disks. Mm -hmm. You bring your A drive over there and you know <laughs> copy some stuff. Yeah, those were the days. <laughs> mm. But there's even more reason to get out the house and go over your friend's house, though. You know. Mm -hmm. Now they just like I said, they they virtual chat rooms and stuff. Well, a lot of the people. Like things I see on TikTok, you know, when they reminisce about old times in school and stuff. They all kind of say the same thing, no matter, you know, what color you are, white, black, Latino, whatever. Everyone says back in those times, the 90s, that you were able just to go outside, ride your bike with your friends, play in the creeks. Like they actually literally said, like, play in the creeks. Saying bringing home new pets, like you might find a turtle in the uh -huh. creek or something, you know, and be like, "Look what I found!" Or you might find <laughs> some cool rocks or mm -hmm. whatever. You was just exploring the earth and nature. Like you bugs know? and all, huh? Yeah, I had a whole rock box, you know, a whole box, mm -hmm. a shoe box full of rocks. But I just kept collecting it. I don't know what happened to that box of rocks. I think my parents probably threw it away. <laughs> I was like, "Whoa, where'd you throw away my box of rocks?" <laughs> Like, girl, it's a box of rocks. Yeah, and I will say, like I say, I do miss that because where I grew up, right on the other side of the fence, was the woods. Like, it was train tracks. So imagine just growing up with 
freight trains going all day long. It's you grow up when you get used to it, but when people just come over the house. Yeah, I would not be able to take that. And the freight train's shaking the house and you can hear my mom's dishes or whatever Shaking. everything mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. everything just shaking you know mm -hmm. so that was the spirits but on the side of the tracks was the was the the woods which actually led to one of the national dunes that we have mm -hmm. you know up north was the indiana national dunes and then you had two separate sections you know Sand right so and then if you walk far enough back there you can make it to the beach to lake michigan so we used to really have like Forts in the woods and go out there and like. Mm -hmm. Certain trails be, you knew to yeah. walk and ones you knew not to walk on. Yeah, and, and you go to one of the other friend's houses. I was just staying in the same section, mm -hmm. about maybe a couple blocks away. But and we'll, be, we'll, we'll imagine that we in his apartment, but it's really just a nice little wooded area that actually has some stuff you can sit in and maybe a hollowed out kind of curved over you know dying tree that you can kind of sit under and. Uh, he used to hang out there all the time, you know. Mm. But eventually, you bring stuff from the house, and you know, as I'm saying, I don't think kids do that no more. Or you used to have forts inside the house too. I'm yeah. Sure had a fort inside the house. Yeah, people have have would turn their parents' shed into a little clubhouse. They had enough room in there. I had a treehouse in one of my backyards. I told yeah. you that was actually it was attached to it. A utility pole, but it was a tree house. <laughs> they got power for real, huh? <laughs> Probably so. Probably one, of the, one of the stumps was a, a utility pole, and they made the rest out of it. Look at all this it's extra bread over here. I used to walk up the ladder. That's where I first, though, it was an old shack. It had been there for a while, and I was so excited when my parents moved into that house. And I tried to like sit on the edge of it when it was real high, and a uh, nasty, a rusty nail Ooh. scraped me, so I had to get a tetanus shot. I remember that. Oh. My parents were like, "You can't go up in there with all those rusty nails." And I'm like, "No, I want to go up too high." Well, it was old. It was something that someone, you know, wasn't painted. They had a big old ladder to go up to the top of it, and like I said, nails are sticking out everywhere. I got some but frozen juice. It'd be cool to get some of those new tree houses they have now. Well, yeah, they put them together, like slap them together. They I live in one. I guess they sold them like that. They got those for really us. extravagant ones, though, you know? I mean, eat one of these oranges. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's how you eat oranges. That's how you eat them? That's how I had no nails, so. Well, I guess, yeah. I used to like my pills. Sometimes she would have my oranges peeled, but since these are babies, I didn't want to peel them. Cause we gotta get ready to get up out of here because we gotta make it to the next collab video that's following man and of course all the links will be in the description box and a playlist will be down there Ooh, that almost me i'll pin the next you know in it i'll pin the playlist in my comments i pity the fool <laughs> me and one of my mods will put it in this live chat that was good oh this is a frozen Capri too. Mm-hmm. So, that's good. I stuck them in there a little too long. But it gave you a good little juice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right, well, let me just take one little bite to have my orange, see how sweet it does. Yeah, I don't have no time to finish this big old lunch, but the Nutter Butters, Nutty Buddies, whatever, they're going to get eight for sure. Apple pie. Oops, sorry. Apple pie I will save for breakfast with my coffee. Oh, my apple pie. <laughs> what kind of peel was that? I just wanted to taste it. I was it was good, wasn't it? I taste it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was good. It was nice and sweet. Yeah, these are some good ones. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you like that? Mm -hmm. Suck it. Diva, I don't have anything for you. You want to eat that? Eat that. Well, Triple B Squad and everybody that's following the One Big Happy Family. Uh, this is another collaboration by the One Big Happy Family. We went back to school. You'll see all types of things. People preparing their meals. People just mukbanging their meals, living their memories. Or so many memories. What they wanted to do when they were a kid. Like, this was Bob's. Yeah, that would have been my dream sandwich. Nice little top on there. Yeah, it was a lot 
like bread. I mean, but I, I got through half of it, so I think I did good. You know, how y'all think I did, all right? Anyway, we gotta get up out of here because we gotta get to the next video. So I'm gonna need y'all to do something for me. What's that? I'm gonna need y'all to get this video a thumbs up. I'm gonna need you to comment below, baby. And don't forget to share it out. Share it out. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. We all woke up today. We are blessed. It's another day to better ourselves and another day to go out there and better someone else. Be the blessing that the world needs. I'm Big Belly Bob. I'm Miss Shan Shorty Recipe. Peace. Bye. Now hurry up and make it to the next one, Big Happy Family Members channel, so you can watch their videos. All right, y'all.